Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in my previous lecture I already describing the sum of the relationship or can say determination of the shear angle 5. Then after sum of the velocity relationship, force relationships. Now in this video I would like to deriving sum of the relationship by the merchant's force circle diagram. So basically that will be so the merchant force circle is the methods of calculating the various forces involving into the cutting operations. So for drawing a merchant circle diagram, we require some of the terms. So in the previous theory, just you refer that the link is given in my description. So to draw the merchant circle diagram, we have some terms like Fc and that will be the cutting force. So Fc is equal to cutting force, Ft equal to thrust force, alpha rack angles and 5 shear angles. So how we will get such kind of terms? So basically in case of the drawing of merchant circle diagram Fc and Ft these two terms the value of cutting force and thrust force it will be by dynamo meter or you can say dynamo and alpha that will be the rack angles from the cutting tool and shear angle 5 so basically 5 can be calculated as we already discussing in my previous theory so basically from this geometry the actually chip is flowing at some angles or you can say at shear plane so that shear plane making a angle with the axis of the tool is being fed so that will be called to be a shear angle 5 so basically shear angle 5 that will be made by the relationship tan phi is equal to r cos alpha divided by 1 minus r sin alpha so in that case r we already know r is equal to t1 upon t2 so basically t1 that will be act as a uncut chip thickness and t2 that will be the thickness of the chips or you can say cut chip thickness so T1 and T2 or you can say T1 is equal to depth of cut. So before starting the experiment we already select the depth of cut so that will be act as a T1 or you can say uncut chip thickness and T2 that will be after experiment that will be the cut chip thickness. So by the measurement of this T1 and T2 you will find the chip thickness ratio R and just put the value of R into 10 5 relationship so you can measure the shear angle 5 now now just you can concentrate the basic setup of that particularly metal cutting operations so here that will be the workpiece material and tool is being fed so according to its relief angle is given for the cutting and here that will be the rack angles it will be between vertical plane and the rack face or you can say top face of the tool. So this Fc and Ft from the dynamo meter. So Fc according to its value suppose it will be the amount of Fc and Ft that will be always at the that right angles. So this one is the Ft. So Fc and Ft from the dynamometers and according to that Fc and Ft we will find the resultant. So this resultant R. So what to do? Just you can take a center of this resultant and making a distance from this center point of the resultant to the this point and making a circle 
So R is the center and just take the radius at the tip of the tool and making a one circle. Now just you can see here that will be the face of the tool or you can say rack face of the tool and making a angle alpha over here. So just you can extend this line and add this alpha. So that will be a frictional force because we already assumed that all the chips it will be flowing onto the rack face of the tools in my previous theory. So according to that it will be making a frictional force. So at an angle alpha it will be developing a frictional force. So just you can draw a frictional force at an angle alpha. So here that will be the alpha. So similar this one is also becoming a alpha angle. So that becomes F. And normal to that frictional this one. So that will be the normal. And just you can see this one is becoming friction angle beta. So just you can see here that will be the shear angle 5 with the horizontal it will be 5 here that will be the alpha rack angles so for this angle just you can see it will be the beta minus alpha and finally at the shear plane angle so this one is fs and normal to that fs it will be fn so that will be a procedure for making a merchant force circle diagram with the different kind of angles. So just you can see once again. So as we discussing into theory if we have Fc, Ft, then alpha and shear angle. So you can easily draw the merchant circle diagram. Once again just this will be your repeated task. Suppose here that will be our cutting force Fc. So basically it will be starting at the tip of the tool. And here that will be our workpiece material. So Fc it will be from the dynamometer and Ft it will be also from the dynamometer. So Fc and Ft at always at the right angles. So by the Fc and Ft you will get the resultant force. And after getting the resultant force that will be the center. Just you can take the radius up to this and making a one circle. So it will be look like this. So it will be always passing through this point and this point. And according to these rack angles, so basically vertical axis and the rack face of the tool it will be alpha and according to the chip is flowing onto the rack face it will be having a frictional angle at the alpha angle. So according to this alpha it will be having a friction angle F. So this one is a F at an rack angle because it will be at the rack angle. So F in this directions and normal to it or you can say right angles it will be normal force. So this one is a frictional angle beta you easily find and according to its shear plane so it will be acting a shear force Fs. So up to the point of the circle it will be intersecting. So that will be the point of the shear force if you measure this length and it will be according to my scaling so you can easily find out the Fs. So shear and normal to shear so always it will be touch with this point so that will be F and so that will be the procedure for finding or you can say making a merchant circle force diagram but the basic condition is what you need Fc, Ft, alpha and 5, 5 from the chip thickness ratio.
Now figure shows the merchant circle diagram. So for shear plane area, just you can see shear plane area AS equal to B into T1 upon sine 5 where B that will be equal to width of the workpiece material. So generally just you can see that will be the B and T1 that will be the uncut chip thickness. So area of the shear plane that will be B into T1 at sine 5. So the average stresses onto the shear plane area is equal to tau S equal to Fs upon As and stress you can say sigma S is equal to normal to F. So you can say normal force divided by area of shear plane. So according to the merchant circle theory, the merchant circle theory is based on the principle of the minimum energy and the shear stress is maximum at the shear plane and it remains constant during the all the cutting process. So that shear stress is becoming constant. So now from the merchant force circle Fs or you can say shear force that will be the resultant force so this one R into cos 5 plus beta minus alpha so this one is our 5 plus beta minus alpha so Fs is in between Fc so Fc is making a 5 angle with Fs and Fc is making the angle with resultant and that will be beta minus alpha so finally Fs is equal to R cos 5 plus beta minus alpha and Fc is equal to R into cos beta minus alpha. So this is my Fc. So Fc and R cos beta minus alpha. So that would be making a relation of shear force and cutting force. Now from the equations this one so tau is equal to Fs upon As from equation number 1. So just put the value of Fs. So R cos 5 plus beta minus alpha divided by As. So tau is equal to R cos 5 plus beta minus alpha divided by As. Now from this equation, just you can see R is equal to Fc cos beta minus alpha from this equation number A. And As from this equation. So just put the value of As and R in this equations. Now it will be like this. So R, so R means Fc co upon cos beta minus alpha. So that 1 upon cos alpha it will be converting into sec alpha. So Fc sec beta minus alpha. So just put the value of R over here. Fc sec beta minus alpha into cos 5 plus beta minus alpha divided by As means B T1 upon sin 5. So that will be sin 5. So from these equations the beta that will be the friction angle that will be independent from the shear angle 5. Now for the maximum shear stress del dts upon del 5 equal to 0. Just utilize that previous equation for tau s we already derived and with respect to that shear angle so you will get 
कॉस फाइव प्लस बीटा माइनस अल्फा इंटू कॉस फाइव माइनस साइन फाइव प्लस बीटा माइनस अल्फा इंटू साइन फाइव विच विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो फाइनली टेन फाइव प्लस बीटा माइनस अल्फा इक्वल टू कॉट फाइव सो जस्ट यू कैन रिवर्स इट टेन नाइंटी माइनस फाइव सो फाइव प्लस बीटा माइनस अल्फा डेट विल बी इक्वल टू नाइंटी माइनस फाइव बिकॉज टेन टेन कैंसल आउट सो फाइनली फाइव इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री प्लस अल्फा बाय टू माइनस बीटा बाय टू सो डेट विल बी ऑल रिगार्डिंग फॉर द मर्चेंट सर्कल डायग्राम आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड सो इफ यू लाइक दिस देन सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स थैंक यू वेरी मच